Well, good morning, good people. Mark Holmes here. As always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. It is Monday. It is a new week, and it's a new opportunity for the Dallas Cowboys to get their shit together. And I just want to check in at least for a few minutes with the Mike McCarthy press conference and see what the tone of Mike McCarthy is and try and get a little insight and hopefully some good news for the Cowboys going into this week. It is, you know, th this is a big week, man. This this is a, a, a huge week. If the Cowboys can find a way to get a win against San Francisco, that is definitely beat down right now. It, it could bode well for the rest of the season. So let's listen to Mike McCarthy. Yeah, I think we might keep these this 9 o'clock slot. I, I kind of like it. Get it the hell out of the way, too. So, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Kick us off. Anyway, David Moore, Dallas Morning News. Um, what did you, I know last previous bio weeks you talked about, you've kind of gone through and you've isolated some things and, and tweak on both mm -hmm. sides and eliminate. Is it, can you talk in general what your process was this time? Will, will there be some tweaks you incorporate schematically on? And some you leave out going forward here? No, absolutely. I mean, it's a, it's a format that I've used for I mean I mean for quite a long time, as far as back as I can remember. So the format and the filters are very similar uh, to the past, but every year is different, you know. And this and this and this year is is definitely uh, different than some prior years. I mean, there's some things that you know you can use as comparables in 23. You know, some years the things you can use as comparables in 22. 22 and 23 is a is a good production comparable, but the reality of it is, you know, every team's different. So, but yeah, you, you definitely go through the filters, um, look at everything. You know, we had the offense and defense special teams on Monday, Tuesday, and, and into Wednesday. Uh, I thought the staff did a really good job of, you know, just sorting through, um, you know, the, the unit filters of, you know, run pass protection and, we had conceptual evaluation, just more, you know, you have more time so you can go deeper than your normal in week mm -hmm. sell, Scott. So I, I really like the information that came out of that. I had, you know, a lot of reading to do over the end of the week. And, and then actually, I'll speak today on these things uh, at 11 o'clock. The, the team is in here um, from 9 to 11. You know, we're, we're going to be in the weight room, but then we got some skill development um, uh, work that we'll do on the field, you know, as part of the conditioning. So that'll be the on the field work today. There's a two hour block for that. And then 11 o'clock, I'll go with a full State of the Union, um, you know, weeks one through six, and, and then lay out the, the second trimester, you know, the, the focal points for that. Um, but take them through some really specific. Um, you know, statistics that, real statistics, but no, statistics that uh, show the, why the direction and, and the things we need to work on. And then we'll go into our, our cross the hall format. And, and I've tried to tweak that each year um, and really kind of spin that more in the direction of the self scout components that can be taught within the, the cross the hall because I think it's real important for all of us to hear you know, common, you know, common language, common concepts, but come from a different voice, uh, come from a different perspective. Mm -hmm. And across the hall has always been very, very beneficial. You know, it'll be 60 minutes of instruction, 40 minutes of Q&A. Uh, so we'll do that. And that's really geared to make sure that every player in that in those rooms, you know, for instance, the perimeter, you know, the offensive perimeter will be in, uh, the quarterbacks receivers will be with all the secondary coaches, you know, and but so we'll, we're doing a little more group oriented just to, because we feel like we need to improve the connection and understanding uh, because of our inexperience and youth in so many areas. So we, you know, feel like the more group as a whole, you know, moving forward is we want to do more work there. So that'll start in across all, then we'll have lunch and then we'll go, uh, then we'll go in the O and D meetings, and then we'll get a self Scott presentation there, and um, and then we'll break into the individual meetings and also get on to San Francisco. So and special teams also have their segment. Um, so they'll leave here today with the, the you know San Francisco game plan started. So it'll be a full week of it's a really a, it's a great day. I mean it's a day as a coach you love. I mean it's self scout, uh, self improvement. 
you know, self-discipline, all the things, just to highlight some of the things we've done in the offseason, you know, mm-hmm. utilization of O2X and the tools and the, the emotional toolbox that they've laid out for us. So just you have a chance to really go back and review those things. Um, but at the end of the day, it's about how's, how it's going to be applied because, you know, you got to get these things regimented uh, into your seven-day work week uh, because, you know, once you get it regimented, it's, it's regulated and it becomes part of your everyday process. So this is uh, – you know, I've, I've been here the, the whole week preparing for this, and um, I got statistics buzzing out of shit, my right? ears, and I'm looking forward to getting together with the team at 11 o'clock. So, well, the other side of that, following up on that, you, you talk about all that emotionally, especially coming off a loss like you had when you start to hear the criticism that's just naturally going to build outside the building, uh, even having Troy Aikman and his comments. Do you feel the need to address those with the players at any point? Um, I, I don't. I, I, I think I th- you address them as a, as, as a whole uh, because it's – it's all part of that external focus that, frankly, we need to um, move move away from. Frankly, I mean, if, if anything, working here, you know, the intensity of of uh, externals and potential distractions is high. You know, that's that's part of our that's just that's part of our operation. You know, um, Green Bay was cold. I mean, I mean, everybody has something. You know, that you have that's probably different than other places you work. So that I mean, that's 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 part of our norm. Um, the external um, noise or, you know, pro or con, you know, it's uh, we prefer the pro, but uh, it's, you know, it's it's part of working here and it's part of our uh, our landscape. So, yeah, for me to address those comments, um, you know, there, I, I, I don't because I don't, they don't carry any weight with me um, because, you know, I'm, I watch all the tape. Uh, I get to go to the meetings. I'm at practice. I'm part of the games, so I have a clear understanding of what and where. And in Troy you know, statement, in particular, I, I mean, I, I don't agree with the the word selection, uh, but there is there is definitely a uh, need for improvement in in every position. You know, not, not just one position that the, he commented on. So uh, I think it. You know, you look at the whole picture. Um, you, you break it down, and you know that, that's that's what coaches do. And uh, there's a process to it. There's always a plan. Um, okay. These guys bring great energy. You know that their their work ethic is high. If you you know GPS is a is a good monitor. You know gives it gives you an idea of you know your workload capacity. Um, going back to what I said earlier, the 22 and 23 comparables from a workload capacity. Uh, the GPS is higher than the prior two teams, so that tells you that you know they are they, the, the effort and energy is there, but the detail and intention needs to go up. That that's going to be a big part of the message today. So we're we're not as detailed in a number of areas on our football team, which is normal for any football team that I've ever coached to be part of. So uh, for it to be highlighted with a brighter light because of external opinions, that's that's not the way we work. We we you, we sell Scott every day. Sell Scott, you know, every week, and I think the biggest thing that's come out of this, just you know, once again, we met as a staff this morning at seven, and is we need to spend more time in group settings. You know, we, our coaches do a really good job because, um, you know, ten years ago, I, I felt that there was a there was an epidemic of PowerPoint coaching, and and we really spend a ton of time of making sure our players see a tremendous amount of video in the structured meeting time uh, together. So we, we need to you know build off of that and make sure that we do that not more in, in the individual where I'm, where I'm going with this is we gotta we gotta get away from as many individual meetings. We need more so group because our connection the between position needs to be higher. Uh, you can you can talk about details and buzzword the hell out of these conversations, but the reality of it is that if the connection uh, between the positions uh, doesn't increase, then the unit production is not going to be where we want it to be. So that's that's really, you know, going through with a fine tooth. We, you know, it's you still only have the same amount of work days. You still only have the same amount of work hours. But you know, it's the specifics of how can we be better. And you know, that that's probably one of the biggest adjustments we'll make as far as our training regiment. Mike Todd Arts with ESPN. In that State of the Union, do you mention a big picture perspective of? Where you guys are, where other people are. And absolutely, all that. no, absolutely. Um, you know, the season breaks down into you know three trimesters. You know, p- pretty pretty clean, six six and five. You know, we completed the first trimester. You know, we're three and three. You know, the ebb and flow of our production and performances, the, the peaks and valleys have been too high, um, too low. So we, we we need to stabilize our 
our, you know, the way we way we play, um, and I refer to that as playing more balanced games to the complementary football formula, which we haven't done. So, you know, it starts with the ball. The first one that just jumps off is the obvious, the ball security. You know, we're not winning the turnover ratio. Um, so that that's something that really the ball uh, protection is, is is something that's is. is you know, way off. You know, the minus six is a glaring, glaring statistic that's also you know backed up with, with video, and so we're we have the ball exposed too many times. You know, twice twice the amount of times this time this year than last year. So the good news is that's what's behind us, and you know, it's an opportunity to learn and grow and emphasize and and, and do that. So and it really goes back to what I just talked about. We we need more group, you know, move more group, more run blocking unit. Um, work together, you know, the courses and, and those types of things, and then no different in the passing game. So, um, but yeah, that's 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 what uh, that's part of what this meeting is. And last week for, for Micah, was he here pretty much the whole time? Do yeah, Micah was here. Yeah, he's doing good. Um, you know, he was in here every day. Uh, he's going through the rehab. We had obviously had a big group in here. Yeah, all week last group. week, and hell, there's a lot of guys in here working extra. So that, that that's always um, I, I'm always appreciative and impressed with that because uh, you know saw a bunch of guys in here over the weekend. So yeah, you couldn't tell it was an off week uh, or a bye week really, uh, just based off the the number of guys that I've seen in the building, you know, rolling through here throughout the week. So, but yeah, Mike is making progress. Calvin Watkins, Dallas Morning News. When you talk about the turnover ratio, uh, since you've been here, you guys have really yeah. forced a lot of turnovers. Yeah. When you have your state of the union, how much will you stress to oh, the yeah. defense? We got, that's what we have to do. Absolutely. We call it the Cowboy Six, and that's a number one, you know, six fundamentals of, of football and, you know, ball security is is definitely at the forefront of that. So, you know, we break it down to ball security into two categories of ball protection and ball extraction. So, you know, the ball extraction, you know, are our takeaways are down, but our opportunities are pretty consistent uh, last year. So we need to be, you know, positioned. You know, the first part of taking a ball away is the positioning of the defense. So you know, obviously the film study, the instincts of where, and it's the connection part of it that I just talked about. That needs to increase because that, you know, that'll that'll make you play a step faster. You know, the footwork, and that's where all the team fundamental drills. That's why we do them every day. The footwork, the anticipation, the proper angles, the pursuit and the finish, the energy to the football. So the opportunities compared to the last two years is 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 a little lower. But the fact of the matter is, you know, uh, last year I think we were at twelve at this time and, and uh, six at this time. But you know that we, we converted those opportunities at a higher level last year. So uh, I've always just really focused on the positioning of it because they do come in bunches sometimes, and you know. You know, sometimes the offensive guy does a little better job protecting it. So on the flip side of it, we're not protecting it. We're we're our take our our, our exposed opportunity is two to one compared to last year. So that's a obviously a major emphasis for the offense and the return the turn return units. How much in your meetings with when you guys have your meetings internally is personnel changes? If you want to move somebody, sit someone down, move someone up. Yeah. How much is that? I mean, yeah, that's part. That's definitely part of it. Uh, you know, we had we did we did a lap. Was it Wednesday morning uh, or th Tuesday morning? Through the whole roster, you know. So and then you know that's a that's a constant conversation with Jerry and uh, and, and Will and Stephen. You know, I had a chance to sit down with Jerry on Thursday afternoon. So, yeah, that that's a con that's a consistent constant conversation. Scott, it's kind of in the DAP this week does have a feel like it could tilt the season one way or the other. Do you try to avoid? Thinking of it that way, or is there value of it? Well, I don't agree with the thought process. I mean, this is an opportunity to get to you know four wins. I mean, that's really where we're at. I think it's too early to to, to even think like that. Um, and I, I think that's really the beauty of the National Football League: the intensity of the week to week in the pendulum that swings so hard one way or the other. Uh, it's amazing the amount of content that, that that's driven from that and the business ad advantages that come off of that. But that's really not the way we we, we can't operate like that. I, I don't operate like that and and refuse to because that doesn't. You'll never be, you know, consistent in your performance if you want to swing on that pendulum. So that's that's not something that uh, I really entertain it. But I do clearly, you know, realize and focus on we we need to improve. You know, we, well, this, we are about self-improvement. We understand who we're playing, where we're playing. That is secondary 
to what we're about. We're about self improvement. We need we need to pick up our game. You know, we need to do things that we can control first until we worry about all these other things that are out there. And because none of these other things are going to help us win. If, if anything, it's going to take a energy away from what we should be focused on. So, mm -hmm. if it's not about winning. It's not about self improvement. Really, don't have any time or energy for it. But I, you know, right I do appreciate that. you giving me an opportunity to talk about all this nonsense here. So it's awesome. Hey. Uh, Nick Harris, yeah. Forward Star Telegram. Uh, in your evaluation of things last week, did you and your staff maybe take a look at practicing? Do you anticipate any tweaks in that area? This yeah, week? definitely. Um, just looked at all the drill work. Excellent question. It felt like you're in the meeting this morning. But yeah, we went through you know the drills and you know kind of same thing we talked about in the meetings. You know, let's. Get, Get away from the one-on-ones. Uh, let's this. Everything's two-on-two, three-on-threes. For example, you know, line movement is has been constant. Start two rookie offensive linemen. Week one, you know, they've been stunting and gaming us since we got off the bus. So we we got to, you know, we've been practicing it, but obviously it's not enough. So that's something we got to really focus on. So uh, the drills and the, the defense. You know, in the run blocking, uh, in the in the run, in the block destruction. So just really focus on all those details and really stay in the same format. Let's do more group stuff together. You know, more team. Let's give up the nine on seven in the, in the combination period. Let's move it into a team period. Those those kind of conversations. Team, yeah. So Get yeah, so we are tweaking. I would say we are tweaking our practice structure. And any word as far as Kendricks and Bland, their outlook this week, or is it too early? Saw Duran briefly before I came in here. I'll know more after the workout today. You know, and that's a big part of this workout. So it'll give us a really good gauge where everybody is. You know, just historically um, practicing on Monday. I've done it a number of times in the past, and it and what I found is it's such a high risk for fatigue injuries. So the the, the, the work on the field today needs to be really controlled. And um, so my point is, we'll we'll have a better. Gauge on where they're at, but really, till we really get rocking and rolling on Wednesday and Thursday, that that'll be the the, the real information. We'll know where those guys are. Yeah, Garrett Podell, CBS Sports. Mike, you speak so highly of the across the hall meetings. Was there one in a past season to? All right, we're going to go ahead and end it right there. But um, so we'll find out after this practice today that they're they're tweaking practice. Deron Bland, um, maybe we'll, we'll see him on the field with Eric Kendricks. And that would be some good news, at least from there, um, that at least they're trying to change some things up to get hopefully a better result. We'll see how it all works out. And, um, yeah, we'll see how it all goes and works out. They've got to get their shit together this week. I'm Mark Holmes.